okay? Like, men are not more logical. They just have less empathy. Men are not more logical than women. They simply lack empathy. In the aspect of, if a man and a woman is arguing, and the woman is giving the man points on why she's feeling a certain way, and the man is giving the woman logic on why she shouldn't be feeling a certain way, and he is not understanding why she is feeling that certain way, that doesn't mean that he is more logical and she's being more emotional. That simply just means that he is lacking empathy. Okay, so there are two types of empathy, right? There is cognitive empathy and there is emotional empathy. Now, cognitive empathy is when you fundamentally understand why a person is feeling a certain way. For example, if someone door to die, you can logically understand why they are feeling a certain way, right? Or if you get slapped in the face and that person gets mad, you can understand why they feeling that way, right? That's logical, right? So if your man isn't fundamentally understanding why you are feeling a certain way, that doesn't mean he's more logical. It's the opposite. That means he isn't being logical enough. Now, emotional empathy is when you are empathizing with a person because you are feeling the exact same way. For example, if someone died in a TV show, a character died, and all the other characters are crying and you start crying too, you are empathizing with them because you are feeling the exact same emotion that they are feeling, which is grief, which is loss. Because you are feeling the same way, you understand why they are feeling the same way. So the next time your man say, you are being illogical and emotional tell him no you are being illogical because you cannot logically understand why i'm why i am feeling a certain emotion remember emotion and logic two different things right also empathy and logic empathy is not an emotion empathy is the understanding of emotion always remember that i love that empathy is understanding of emotions so if you don't have empathy you don't have understanding you're not being logical Okay, I actually thought that this was like um, a really sort of interesting point of view, right? Because I had been sort of thinking myself a little bit. Because um, they always say, like in the Manosphere, they always say like, oh, men um, are the logical, rational ones, while women are always emotional and in their feelings, okay? And I mean, some of them, they, they say that... Um, uh, some of them is just because they don't like women and they want to dismiss women, or some of the guys who sort of listen to this um, stuff, just uh, sort of brainwashed and always repeat the same things, you know. <laughs> but um, it's, it's also true that some people, um, if they come across like really like overly logical and factual, like like all the time in everything that they say, they, they seem like they don't understand people's emotions very well like they seem like they, they don't understand what people are feeling or why somebody would be feeling like that because they're always looking at it from a logical point of view and um not from an emotional point of view yet seem to present it that like well you're supposed to be logical and that like having um, emotions is like not a good thing which is some that I actually disagree with, okay? Like, um, you know, personally, like, I don't want to be a robot, okay? Um, there are times when, it, like, having a few emotions is kind of a good thing, right? Not, not if your emotions are out of control, obviously. Um, but, right, I, I can't, I kind of think, right, um, I mean, People have different strengths and weaknesses, right? We're not all the same, obviously. Um, so some people, um, maybe like the kind of person who might be on the spectrum of autism or something like that. I think some of them can be very, very logical um, and very rational about everything, but then do not get people's emotions. Okay, well, other people, they might not be like so logical or irrational. Or, or rational or, all the time, but or are more likely to understand people's emotions, okay? Might be more, you know, likely to, you know, um, you know, listen to other people and, you know, uh, be sympathetic and offer emotional support and, and, and stuff like that. Okay, so what I'm saying is I'm thinking people have different strengths and different weaknesses we're not all the same so i'm not saying one way is the right way to be or one way is the wrong way to be okay but i'm just saying that, that um I, I think that's just like a a little sort of sort of difference in people right and and your best friend
And you may, may have multiple best friends, but you want one friend, a lot of people to kind of cry on each other's shoulder, but you want another friend to just tell you the truth. And they could both be friends, but one could be, one's more emotional empathy, one's more cognitive empathy. And so each one of those has certain genes associated with it, like oxytocin, vasopressin, testosterone receptors, a whole list of genes having to do them. Depending on what you inherit, you will, you'll be that way. So there's a certain testosterone receptor in males that makes them very selfish. Mm. Uh, and, and, you know, it's just, when I win a game, I keep everything. Uh, whereas the other form, it's like, I, you know, I won and now let's, I'm going to use the money to buy us all a beer. You yeah. see, that's another type of the, you know, the, the other testosterone receptor. So uh, based on the random assortment that you inherit. Um, I, I tend to think of like, sometimes when you talk about the sort of like overly logical person that doesn't sort of understand emotions so well, I, I kind of um, think about um, Sheldon Cooper's character on the Big Bang Theory. And snoring. And that's probably just a sinus infection. But it could be sleep apnea. You might want to see an otolaryngologist. <laughs> the throat doctor. And what kind of doctor removes shoes from asses? Depending on the depth, that's either a <laughs> proctologist or a general surgeon. <laughs> oh. You have no idea what it's like to struggle with recognizing emotional cues. I'm sure it's extremely frustrating. Thank you. And also a little sad. Okay, now you're just showing off. <laughs> You know, I just read that a team at MIT developed a device that helps people read human emotions. And you think we can get those guys to reprogram Sheldon? Cool. It's supposed to be accurate like 85% of the time. Wow, I find that hard to believe. That a bunch of awkward scientists with no social skills would invent a machine to do it for them? I take it back, I believe it. You know, if it's at MIT, I can make some calls. Maybe we can get Sheldon a prototype. What do you think? A machine that reads emotions is intriguing. It could help me be a more considerate friend. Wouldn't that be nice? It could also help me identify my enemies, discover their fears, and then... <laughs> I could use those fears to destroy them. I like the first one. Now, I've heard it said before, like, I mean, some people say that women are supposed to be more empathic than what men are, okay? Um... And I don't know whether that's true. Um, like, like I've heard that um, that they think that men, in some circumstances, find it easier to turn their empathy off than women because, like, in the past, men have had to do, um, you know, they've had to kill people in wars, and and that you know they've sort of had more um, times when they've had to like set aside those kind of feelings. Okay, so. That's what I've heard that you, you know that men can turn empathy off easier, or you know I've heard people say that um, women are more empathic generally than men. And again, I don't know whether that's true. I would think that that depends on the person. Okay, like I mean, there are men and women who um, can be really caring and really nice people, and then there's some men and women who <laughs> seem like heartless bastards. Okay, that that can be both genders. All right, so. Um, I do think the kind of guy in the manosphere who will, like, uh, if, if you're just going to fob any woman off, like, f for what she says, is like, oh, she's illogical and irrational, silly woman. Well, that's definitely a lack of empathy for women, which, like, the manosphere does have a lack of empathy for women. And um, in the red pill, like, when they talk about, like, female nature and, like, um what men and women are supposed to be a attracted to like they they talk kind of like the female is biologically programmed to seek the best protector and provider so if she comes across another a better protector provider she will monkey branch or if you stop um being able to protect and provide she is biologically programmed to go and and look for a better mate you know and they talk like almost sort of robotic and they're sort of like making like 
like relationships and attraction sound like this like just like logical thing where nobody has any emotions and nobody cares about each other and like love is not actually like that okay not for most people okay so i i I actually think that they're the ones that are like um not understanding people's emotions and like when when they talk about like interactions like between men and women uh they they talk as if they're documenting like a, a nature program or something one of the females is on heat it's her choice and she's unpredictable a chance for fatherhood is up for grabs one sneaky young male sees an opportunity to make his move okay good luck with that one then mate and it's like um yeah we are all animals but we are human too okay <laughs> there is kind of a difference like um you know i i do believe that we've you know evolved you know in in a certain way um but i i do think that social conditioning does make a difference as well and and i do think that each individual person is different you know like i don't think every single man is like designed to be exactly the same and every single woman is, is designed to be exactly the same and yet that is how they talk in in the red pill community some of them it's like they kind of think well once you've met one woman you've met them all they all think the same and and they all seem to think that men all think the same and want the same thing and all that and it's like you know humans are so much more complicated than that human emotions are so much more complicated than that anyway i just thought that was an interesting take that this guy had so i just thought i'd do a quick video about it thank you for listening Describe illness or injury. I dislocated my shoulder. All right. And how did the accident occur? You already know that. Cause of accident, lack of adhesive ducts. <laughs> okay, medical history. Have you ever been diagnosed with diabetes? No. Kidney disease? No. Migraines? Getting one. <laughs> Are you currently pregnant? No. Are you sure you look a bit puffy? Change migraine to yes. When was your last menstrual period? Oh, next question. I'll put in progress. Okay, moving to psychiatric disorders. List all major behavioral diagnoses, e.g. depression, anxiety, etc. Oh my God, what the hell does this have to do with my stupid shoulder? Episodes of subpsychotic rage. Ass. Possible Tourette's. <laughs> right, moles, lesions, or other skin conditions. Soup tattoo on right buttock. Hey, Sheldon, Sheldon, look, I am scared and in a lot of pain. Could you please take a break from being you for just a minute and try being, I don't know, comforting? <clears throat> I'm sorry. They're there. <laughs> Everything's going to be fine. <laughs> Sheldon's here. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>